I got started in the wine business uh, basically from uh, my parents. When I was in high school, my dad decided to plant a vineyard, so I worked off my first drum set pounding posts in the vineyard, and that was way back in 96. So my dad is uh, Douglas Weens. He's our first winemaker, kind of got the ball rolling with this whole thing um, up in Northern California. My grandma was our sole employee, and she would just read her romance novels, um, waiting for customers to come rolling in, knew nothing about wine, but was the sweetest lady, so. The family would come tasting down here in Temecula um, early on and really saw the potential in the valley here. My Uncle George is an architect, so he designed the facility for us. My Uncle Jeff, our general manager, is an electrician, so he helps us out with a lot of the electrical needs here. And then my Uncle Dave was a contractor, and it's nice to have a family where everybody kind of has their strengths and, and we can all kind of come together and, you know, make this thing work. When Joe moved down, I had been here for a couple years and I started doing some more stuff within production. They realized I was pretty mechanical and then kind of just taught myself a lot of stuff. Joe and I read a lot of books together and then kind of started making wine along the way. It's been fun working together. It's definitely been cool going out places and having like other winemakers that have been in the valley for a long time tell us that we're the next generation that's gonna put Temecula on the map. When we first started making wine, we were still in our 20s. And people come here and they find out that we didn't go to school. We went to school, we just didn't finish school. Yeah. <laughs> it was, or dropouts. Yeah. Well, it was either pay to go to school or get paid to make wine. And yeah. Joe and I are so hands-on that it makes what we do that much easier. And we're constantly, yeah. you know, taking classes and buying new books and, you know, we're always trying to push the envelope and, and we uh, we go tasting a lot. We always come back with something new to try or, or something to experiment with, so. I think perhaps more of the challenge of making wine down here is, is getting people past the perception that Temecula isn't a serious wine region. It's good to know that we can make quality wine, it's just a matter of getting the word out that, uh, that Temecula has wineries that are really focused on making a premium product. We're one of the few people that everybody on our vineyard staff is employed by us. You know, we don't contract in work or anything like that, so we put a lot of focus on bringing in quality fruit. They leave a lot of fruit hanging or they'll drop a lot of fruit um, if it's not up to the quality standards that we want. But we just make sure that from basically from the vine to the glass, it's a very consistent product um, and we're not, we're not releasing anything we're not really happy about. I'm not afraid to question him either. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, I'll, you know, I'll ask him something and put a little idea in his head and then two days later he'll come back. Then it's like, my idea. Yeah. <laughs>